Hi everyone, my name is Daad van Toledo and I'm a research fellow from the Amsterdam UMC in the group of Evelyn Dicker at the Gastroenterology Department. Thank you for showing your interest in our paper that has recently been published by Endoscopy and it's about appendix lesions in serrated polyposis patients. The lumen of the appendix is difficult to inspect and then the endoscopic resection of polyps involving the appendix or orofici are considered quite challenging and therefore appendiceal polyps might expose patients at an increased risk to develop colorectal cancer, especially in patients with serrated polyposis syndrome. In this paper, we aim to question this by evaluating the prevalence of advanced appendiceal lesions. And we did this in two ways. First, we revised surgically removed appendices, which is probably the most accurate way to estimate prevalence of these lesions. And secondly, we re-evaluated pathology in colonoscopy reports for how frequently endoscopists detect advanced appendiceal lesions. Advanced lesions were defined as colorectal cancer, advanced adenomas, and advanced serrated polyps. We included in total 171 patients diagnosed with serrated polyposis syndrome, and we showed that within the first group, so the appendix specimen, advanced appendiceal lesions were not found. On the other hand, we found a 40% prevalence of non-advanced lesions in the appendix specimen, and the majority of them being serrated polyps. At colonoscopy, during 522 patient years of surveillance, no advanced appendiceal lesions were detected either. And in 4% of those patients, non-advanced lesions were detected. So the discrepancy between endoscopic detection rate of appendiceal lesions and the reported prevalence in surgically resected appendices suggests a substantial miss rate of appendiceal lesions during colonoscopy. However, advanced appendiceal lesions are rare and appendiceal, uh, appendix adenocarcinomas did not occur, implying this to be a limited clinical relevance for these lesions. I'd like to thank endoscopy for giving the opportunity for the publication and thank you for your attention.